Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shane Plays. Welcome back to Navgo Bear. Welcome to the land of Russia. Russia. We are at war with Brandenburg, Ottoman, and Persia. We already pieced out Crimea, where we took Crimea, and we took Borsiglebsk, Lower Don, and Kuban, which were given to my vassal QQ. Peace with the Ottomans will be similar. We're going to make uh, Trebizond and Ursurum go to my vassal QQ. And then we can just annex QQ, because they really don't have... Do they have anything else? No. They used to own these two, Mazanderan and Gilan, so I assume he would buy those, because he was a previous owner of those lands. But at the end of the day, it's not really you know, a super huge deal. We might go ahead and do those, but since I didn't fabricate claims on them, we just may not. may just avoid that entirely. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, also going to be giving some lands to our vassal Punjab, who has two cores over here. And uh, his culture group consists of that stuff. So he'll probably buy anything in that area. I hope. So we might take some of that stuff, or we might just release uh, Delhi. In fact, that might be really nice, releasing Delhi. Because Delhi's got some cores. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we just annex some stuff on our own and just screw it. Uh, but at the end of the day, we really need to break up the Utermans. So let's continue on. War with Persia, the Udermans, and Brandenburg. 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 Macron has finished. Great. Move on. Move on. Keep sieging up everything. All the things. All the things. All the things. Hormoz must siege. They all must siege. Our army is under attack. Uh-oh. I wasn't paying attention. Brandenburg snuck in. And... Oh, not a big deal. I guess. Nope, we could not get there in time. And we instantly surrendered because we could not get there. And I really don't like that instant surrender. It's bullshit. And yeah, we lost that army. Well, what can I do about it? Nothing. Because he has access through all of the HRE and we don't. Anyway, come on. Hurry up. Don't sit on your duff. Sits. There you go. Just do all the things. Uh, sure. Roll them on do. Why not? We only have like 14% on Persia. It's rather silly, but oh well. Lost Handan as a claim. Oh, well we can do that again. I mean, it's not a big deal. Not the end of the world if we have a claim on Handan or not. Hostile sieges. Ryazan. What? Oh, we have rebels. Whoops. Um, you guys, you're free. Go kill them. And charge we. I don't really care about them. That's just Persia. We'll deal with Persia in our own time. Upper Sind. Okie dokie. Move on. Sixteen thousand Patriot Rebels. Okay, well, I guess that's what armies are for. Kill them and then come back. I'll even give you a general. There you go. Have fun. Now you have a general, right? No, you don't. Have a general then, because he. Oh, he has no siege. Never mind. Whatever, just group up. Siege stuff. Okay, Mazanderon has finished. Move on. Group up. All right. 
Alright, sieges are going through. They take time, though. Have I ever had a 666? I probably have, yes. I've, I think I have over two... I have something around 2,000 hours in this game, so I probably have had a 666, yeah. Alright, you can take them out. I should probably equip you with a general before you do that. So go to Yazd, we'll get you a general, and then you can go over there. Yeah, that'll work. He's forced marching around, but whatever. Hmm, the Ottomans look like they want to party. They probably want to save the war target, which is Araka. Hmm. Just go start sieging shit up over here, I guess. Just keep grouping, grouping together, clump together, clump together. All right, the clumps. France is up to twenty-four percent. I would not be surprised if France pieced out, not to take land, but to make them release stuff. If France took any land here, I'd be very surprised. But the war's been going on long enough that France probably wants out of the war. Okay, that stuff's probably fine. Why don't we go start sieging the Ottomans a bit? Portugal and Mali are going to war. That sounds fun. Gold rush. Gain inflation. Ugh. I fucking hate inflation. But we converted Gansu. That's nice. Let's convert Dornod. Great. Convert all the things. Right? Oh, shit. France is going to be late to this party. Uh-oh. The Ottomans are forced marching onto my face in two days, and uh, we are going to get fucking ass raped. We have no general there. France is coming to help, so I, ho I hope we can hold out long enough. We'll see. We'll send some reinforcements. Uh, forced march. Get up there. This is going to be painful. I got no general there. He's got a 3-6. Come on, France. Get the fuck over here, dude. What the fuck am I paying you for, man? Ow. Actually, it looks like we're going to be okay. Even though we rolled a zero, we'll probably still be okay. Yeah, we're fine. It was just scary. Ain't you ever been scared before? Why the hell is Mali asking for access? Yes, Mali, this nation, has asked us for military access for some reason. <laughs> Alright, so we'll... I don't know. Take you guys to Aleppo? Sure. And you guys don't need Force March anymore. Alright, I think we have the army contained. Hopefully France will pursue, because I really don't want to pursue that army all around. Maybe a little bit, but not too much. And stop showing me this westernization thing. I don't care about it. Not going to westernize, damn it. Rebels in Basra. 37 rebels in Basra. Shit. Shit. 37 rebels. Let's go fabricate on these guys. If this war with the Ottomans goes on long enough, the truce with Crimea will be over. Yeah, three more years, the truce with Crimea is over. Let's go annex them. Fuck it. In fact, that's probably the best way to do it, because this war with the Ottomans is definitely going to last a, at, least, at least a little while. Alright, you guys are ready to rock. Here you go. Ming Pretender Rebels. Oh, right. Our, our truce with Pegu is over. We should go annex him. Uh, 
Yeah. Oh, why not? He has no allies. Lost a claim on Hungary. We keep losing claims on people. Alright, get out of there. That's fine. Did that say Silesia? Oh my goodness, Silesia exists! When did this happen? Or have they always been there? I might be a moron. Maybe I just didn't notice that Silesia was there, but there he is! Look at that! Silesia! Might have been part of the Ottoman peace deal. Yeah, in fact, it probably was. All right, you're done. Come on over. Uh, yeah, all these sieges are going okay. Turn that off. Turn that off. Come on down here. And you can come to Taungu. Great. Rebels in Basra. Ugh. 34 rebels and 37 rebels in Basra. Jesus. All right, well, as soon as this guy is done with these Persian armies, then we'll go over there. Hey, hey, Brandenburg fell. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. People say we monkey around. Right? Something like that. All right, Brandenburg, can we vassalize you? You're damn right we can. I think I... Oh, man, he's just... Oh, if only it was 50%, I could force religion on him. Oh, well. No biggie. Uh, Yeah. Okay. There we go. Brandenburg Vassal, and he likes us too. Okay, let's get relations up with Finn Finn so we can annex him. Finland, Polotsk, and Karakoyno are the next ones to be annexed. We'll probably annex all three at the same time. Uh, do we get our claims? Yeah, we still have our claims on Spain, and his allies are garbage. He's allied to Persia for some reason. So if we're going to declare on Spain, we should probably do it while we're at war with Persia, but I think I should wait until France has pieced out of this war. He will peace out individually because he's got no reason to stay in this war, really. Just assault that fort, please. Thank you. And then, where do you want to go? Uh, I don't even know. Um, You want to go to Basra? Nah, he's already up here. We should probably keep an army over here for whatever reason. So let's put an army in Krako. Good place to sit. Wow, you finally made it to Altai. Congratulations. Karkhan defected to Chugtai. Karkhan. I think that already was Chugtai. So it defected from Chugtai to Chugtai. Congratulations. Ah, oh, Lithuania Coalition does. Ah, oh, whatever. It's fine. Okay. Rebels in here. Um... Give me the general. Thank you so much. Have a general. Kill them, and then come here to Pegu. Uh, why don't you go here? There you go. I still don't have that army ready to go. Come on, hurry up with that, and then go to Basra, please. Place. Place to be. Place to be going to Basra. There you go. Wow, he failed at 49%. Lovely. Kill them all. There you go. No more Persian army. Don't need no Persian army. That shit's for kids. Oh, there's the rebels. Oh, shit. <laughs> 37 motherfucking rebels. What's our war score with you guys now? It is 55. Alright, so it's definitely climbed. Ooh. 
have I been hitting the sauce? Oh, you know me. Uh, no, not really. I'm having some non-alcoholic cider. Because 3 p.m. is a little early to drink, to drink on a Monday. Maybe on a Wednesday or something. But Monday, I think 3 p.m. is a little too early to drink. That's just my opinion, though. Maybe I'm cray-cray. Wow, the coalition has definitely grown. Uh, Asia really hates me. I should probably be going to war with Anam soon. Because I can probably annex him. If I go into a separate war with Anam and a separate war with Pegu, I can just annex both of them. And then release them as vassals. But I should probably be annexing my vassals first. That's true. I do want to annex my vassals. Mm. All right. That's the thing. You don't want to wind up in a situation where... Wait. Oh, there you are. You don't want to wind up in a situation where you have, you know, like, 15 vassals or something. So you need to have a bit of peace, just a bit, to get relations up with all your vassals and then annex them. Like Finland, I need to get relations up there. Kara Koinlu is super happy with me because I gave him a bunch of land, so I don't need to worry about getting relations up there. But Palatsk, I do need to get relations up with Palatsk. So can we hurry up with these goddamn claims, please? You know what? Just come back from France. We don't need that. We're good on France for now. We got France in our pocket for now. All right, we just got the target province, so we're going to be hitting 100% war score here pretty soon. Uh, target province is worth quite a lot. You go to Sedan? No, go to Damascus. I don't think Ottomans even have an army anymore. Do they? Looks like the answer is no. So the Ottomans just are not recruiting any more units. They're like, fuck it. They just gave up on the war, which is great. I like that they've given up. Hesse, Trier, and Ferrara, and that would also bring in Bohemia. And we might be able to get him to revoke one of the Imperial reforms, which would be fan-fucking-tastic. Hmm. That might be worthwhile, actually. If we declare on Magdeburg, or should we declare on Bohemia? No, I can't declare on Bohemia because he's in the coalition, but I can declare on Magdeburg. That is tempting. Uh, if... Oh, we'll see. We don't have our claim yet. We'll see. Uh, Palatsk. Relations, go. Can't marry him because he's a republic. I can give him a gift. But get relations up first. It's going to take a while in Palatsk because um, he doesn't like us that much. Bohemia started a war against the Ottomans. He wants reclamation of Graz. All right. So Bohemia is busy fighting the Ottomans. Good. Convert Dali. Yeah. Go Dali. Complaints about the Bailiff. Lose a bunch of prestige or lose stability. I would rather not lose either. But uh, we'll lose the prestige because we'll get prestige from sieges and battles and whatever. And peace deals. Alright, we got our claims. Uh-oh. Someone died. Who the fuck died? Natural scientist. Damn it. Why you motherfuckers keep dying? And the only choices are level 2 or 2 level 3s. Uh, I don't want either of these guys. They're all old as well. Fuck it. I just won't have an advisor. Please win. Yeah, we got this. I don't know what I was worried about. My worries were unfounded. So Persia, what kind of peace deal do we want here? We have pretty much everything sieged. Uh, we're sitting at 66%. I want you to give lands to my vassal. So Kangra and Sir Hind. He will. Can you also release somebody? What, what would be the most expensive to release? Delhi, but he won't. Balochistan. That would be nice. Balochistan would be fantastic, really. 
no, we can't use our colonists. There's no place to colonize, so don't worry about it. Bangladesh. Ode. I think Bangladesh would be good. As much as I would like Balochistan. Well, actually, Balochistan's probably pretty good because he doesn't accept any of these cultures, does he? No, they're all unaccepted cultures because there's so many cultures over here. So we'll do Balochistan, and that will prevent him from dealing with the rebels that spawn over here. Maybe we can support some rebels over here. All right, so. As soon as he accepts peace, that'll be nice. Okay, the Basra rebels are dead. We lost a lot of troops there, but that's okay. All right, this army is ready to go. We have our European army. Do we need an army over here on Spain? I think we will. But we have 60 guys here. You know what? We'll send them over anyway, just for shits and giggles. And we'll just prepare for the worst. Oh, yeah, we can colonize this shit. That's right forgot. Um, I was thinking we can't colonize the New World, but we can still colonize Siberia. So, sure. Why not? You're not an alcoholic, you're German? Oh, okay. I understand now. Still won't accept, really. Okay. Still won't accept. Man, this guy is stubborn. Wow. He just does not want peace. I mean, I can't blame him. If I was him, I wouldn't want peace either. Peace sucks. Peace is for pussies, right? Peace is for pussies. Pussies for me. Peace is for pussies. Pussies for free. If you guys know what that tune is from, congratulations. France is still super happy. All right. Probably going to have to give... Uh, not QQ. Probably going to have to give Palatska a huge gift. So why don't we just go ahead and give them a huge gift since we have some cash. There you go. 75 ducats. That's a huge gift, isn't it? Keep putting money into the Baltic and Novgorod. The rest of the trade nodes, eh, not so much. All right, so Persia's trying to fight back. He's starting to recruit some dudes again, but come on, Persia, get over it. Your time is up, brah. Give it up, brah. Nope, still not done. Damn. I can't believe Persia's not done. He's not willing to surrender. Oh man, France is just wrecking the Ottomans. He's up to 31 war score. Conquest on Crimea. Our truce will end in two years August. All right. Should be fine, I think. Wow, Ceylon keeps getting independent. They just have... They have no luck uh, being conquered. They've been conquered by Britain. They've been conquered by Vaginagar. They've been conquered by, I think, Portugal at one point. But they just can't 
<laughs> they have no chance. Yeah, they're at war with England now for independence. And England accepted the peace. Of course they did. Rebels in Mazanderon. Okay. Rebels in Upper Dobe. Rebels in Sichuan. Kill them. Goddamn Sichuan rebels. Get out of here. Mmm, Sichuan. Spicy food. Concerned about to roll. I'm not sure how we're going to get in there. If we get any rebels in here, there's nothing I can do about it. I have no access in there, right? Hmm. Lost a claim on Oldenburg. That's probably fine. I don't care. Oh, I can fabricate on Mecklenburg now. Cute. Let's do it. Let's do it. Fabricate on them bergs. Those Mecklens and those bergs. Those things. Surely they want peace soon, right? Don't call me Shirley. But really, we're at 72%. He won't he won't peace out. Wow. I would say I admire his tenacity, but I don't. I just want him to peace out at this point. I would like you to peace out, sir. Seventy-six, and he still won't peace out. Wow, this guy is stubborn. Uh, wow, Keta. No, oh, that's fine. Balochi nationalist, that works. Although I'm not sure if I can actually make him release Balochistan now. Oh, I still can. Okay. Uh, if if they successfully siege Keta down, then I won't be able to make him release Balochistan. It's one of the weird mechanics in the game that if if Balochi rebels, or any nationalist rebels, have successfully crisscrossed a province, then you cannot make them release that nation for some reason. I don't know. Doesn't make any sense to me, but it's part of the game. There you go. All right. And you can. Oh, can I make him get rid of his. No, he doesn't have an alliance with, with the Ottomans anymore. That was their peace deal, I guess. He's allied with Spain? <laughs> He's allied with Spain. Okay. I don't know why you're allied with Spain, but since you're not allied with the Ottomans, I think that's fine. Great. Take a few dollars. Why not? Excellent. Welcome to the world, Balochistan. Uh, of course, he's Shia instead of Sunni, but other than that, it's just normal, normal, normal Balochistan. And Punjab is... Uh, ready to be a next, but let's at least let him convert some lands first. So, relations, please. If I could get a Diplo. Poor Ottomans. They're just getting fucked. They're getting fucked six ways from Sunday. I was kind of hoping France would peace out individually, but... He hasn't seemed interested in doing that for some reason. And I also won't be able to um, annex any vassals with only 58 Diplo points. So we're going to have to keep in this war for a little while. Oh, goodness. Stupid 411. You know what? Stay here, just in case Persia comes back. Persia might come back. I'm looking at declaring war on Spain soon here, but Persia might join that because Persia is allied with Spain. I just think it's a little awkward that Persia and Spain would be allies. I don't know what's causing it. 
similar hatred of somebody, maybe? Maybe they both hate me. Maybe they both hate France. Who knows? Relations go. You want to give me a whole bunch of land. He wants to release Tripoli, Croatia, and Ragusa. Those are some terrible releases. Alright, group up. Roll up to Spain. Water, water, water. 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 Hmm. Siege all the things, please. We've lost about 100,000 manpower from this war, which is not that bad. And we lost a claim on Niederlaus. So oh, for fuck's sake. We gotta go. I mean, over Laus. We gotta go get that again. Uh, claim. Improve relations with Silesia. Fuck that. Claim. That's fine. Roll over to Sinai. I don't know. Go wherever. VJ declared war on Ceylon. Okay, fair enough. Still truced with Crimea. Um, trade is fine. I don't know what the hell. I don't know what that was. It was lose domestic trade, gain foreign trade, or lose foreign trade, gain domestic trade. I don't really know. Yeah, we're still waiting one year so we can declare on Crimea. What's the Ottoman manpower? I don't know. 200k? No, his manpower is at 100. But he won't he won't recruit units because he knows it's futile right now. Oh man, Ferrara has the Pope fully sieged. Damn. You know what, though? We are out of time for this episode today. Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. We just lost 50, dip 50 admin points. Come back next time for the uh, annexation of Crimea. We peace out the Ottomans, and then we'll get relations up and annex some vassals. It's going to be some time before we can do that, though, because we have, like, no Diplo points. So don't hold your breath, folks, but I'll see you next time. Have a good day.